Hello everyone and welcome to another of Sethildor's GG Files here with Balanced Druids this time. So we're going to be in the Strand of the Ancients and I'm going to greet the Horde with a healthy Typhoon. Boom! And fail. <laughs> yeah, doesn't really work when you go from dock to uh, boat I guess. You'll see that instant Star Surge 8.2k however from the Shooting Stars proc which was the little purple thing that went above my head those green things around the sides are clear casting so we are going to try and focus fire down this warlock here and get her nice and low I actually did not put an in insect swarm on her which is an error on my part you'll see double warlock buffs on my debuff bar because there are two of them I did however click that light well a little earlier we lose track of one of them I can see her running away in the water and down I go from the other one GG to the hordies there nice early kills on me so gonna run over here and stop this troll druid from capping the flag with some help from that hunter go ahead and get that powerful star surge off only about a 4k he's too far out of range there's the shooting stars again which reset the cooldown bam about a 3k on that guy and it looks like he's gonna get away as well so we are going to let him run away. You'll notice that I have a curse on me right now. More specifically a Bane, which has still got properties of a curse that I can remove. Except I don't, because I'm lame. So we get the Locust Swarm, Moonfire, Star Surge on that. We actually had three Moonkins on that demo. We are going to try and drop down this. Look at my health, look at my health. Oh my gosh, that Hunter almost had me if it weren't for that Holy Priest and the allies dropping him before he could kill me. GG to that horde. That was some nice burning as well as thank you to the Alliance for saving me. Whew. So, moving on. Now that that hunter is out of sight, we got a mage who decides to run up and attack me. Get the moonfire off. Solar beam AoE silence. And down he goes. Now, next encounter. This is going to be an interesting one. We have a mage, I believe. Blood Elf mage. No, Blood Elf Warlock, apologies. She smartly does her sacrifice prior to Star Surge actually hitting her. You'll see my silence go off. A key strategy would be, is uh, you'll see me do it a lot, is root and then solar beam. Because if you can root them in the solar beam, they won't be able to do anything to get out if, say, they're like a mage. They won't be able to ice block or blink out because that requires you to be able to cast versus if they're silenced and stuck in it, then it's like a free spell on them for you, which is awesome. So I'm going to go chase... I thought I was going to chase that Warlock down, but I get attacked by this Warrior here. This is awesome. Watch this. Root, and get some backup. Charging Star Surge, charging... Boom! 16.9k crit! Let's watch that again. Oh my god. Boom! Explosion! 16,975 damage from a Star Surge. If you don't think that spell is powerful, you are crazy. Just, just saying, just saying, man. Star Surge, delicious spell. Moving on. Got a Death Knight here, you'll see a 7.4k Star Surge crit, the, get the dots on him, and start spamming some Wrath, especially with that Insect Swarm on him, 4k Wrath crit, you'll notice. Also, I'm in two-piece T9, which allows my Moonfire dot damage to possibly crit as well. I would recommend this for Moonkins in PvP who can't get, for example, full Furious gear or something, because it's really nice to have the dot crit on them. You'll see we have another three Moonkin on the demo. I popped my Treants a little earlier there. Get a solar beam on not only the mounted target, Warlock, but also that druid temporarily as well. She gets the fear on me, and you'll see the dots racking up right here. This is going to be a little tough for me to get out of. Spam fear. And here comes the haunt. Get the shooting stars proc. Get it thrown out at her. Try to move. And there goes the soul swap and the nuke, and she gets some heals from the haunt. So GG to that Warlock. Nice lockdown on me. Now, this is the courtyard. We're trying to stop the horde from getting there. We have some good time left. About a minute, I believe. So, we are just trying to push them out, 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 out. Almost a 5k non-crit star surge there. Quite nice. You'll see the Nature's Grace buff that just disappeared. That's excellent. That provides haste. And there's the Lunar Shower buff, which 
stacks up to three times and refreshes while moving. It increases the damage of Moonfire and reduces its mana cost. You'll see the roots on him. He bubbles just before he's about to die. Nice timing there. So I decided to move on to this warrior. Get the Moonfire on him. Go ahead and throw a Starfire. Nice. Almost a 7k Starfire. Not bad. Shooting Star proc. Bam. He drops. Good focus fire from the Alliance there. And we are just taking everybody out as they come in. See that Death Grip. Trying to nuke him down. Nice 4k, but he decides to teleport out. Smart move on his part, to be honest. Now here, I probably should have done a solar beam on someone right in that doorway to silence them as they run in. You'll see that nice group of crits a couple seconds ago as well on that target. Get a Demo in here. Something interesting that I noticed earlier in this fight was that Demos are now rootable by Entangling Roots, and you just saw a Frost Nova temporarily. I tried Cycloning, that does not work, so Roots seem to be the only thing. Try to get this Fellhound off me, and it decides to despawn, which is awesome, because now there's a Warlock without a pet running around. All the easier to kill. We've got this Pally here, go ahead and throw some Moonfire Spam on him, get another clear casting, and he's trying to heal up, bam, nuked down. So overall, this was a good round. That was the defending round for the Alliance. Now we're going to move on to the attacking round. This first encounter is quite interesting. We come across a Shadow Priest early, and he goes for me right off the bat, going for an early Mind Flay instead of dotting me up. I decide to bother with the CC on him. You'll see the Cyclone. He comes out of the Cyclone and goes right back into the Cyclone. He did get the dots off me, on me, however, so GG to him on that one. He's out again, Mind Flay. At this point, the Cyclone would take longer to cast than it would last, so I dropped a Solar be Beam on him to silence him and be able to get away a little while. He refreshes his dots, get, gets a Mind Flay. You'll see I threw a couple hots on myself. It's not enough, though, so I have to stop and go ahead and throw a few Nourishes on myself. He's got the Shadowy Apparitions. You'll have noticed that Life Bloom finally bloomed on me, giving some nice heals. So he is still hard on for me. There's also some other Horde up here with the Alliance getting those heals off. You might find yourself spam healing as a Moonkin on yourself to keep yourself up. However, it's better to heal yourself and not do damage than be dead and not do damage because you'll be able to get back into the fight faster. Nice Star Surge. Get a either kill or he ran away and now I go down. So GG to the Horde on their defense at that gate. And just spawned right out the gate. Get a Warlock on me. Uh, I think I'm just going to run away, but I see another alliance trying to take her down, a Death Knight, so I decide to join in and help out, making sure I have uh, some decent hots, Rejuve, and three stack Life Bloom on me, because she did dot me up. Get that Solar Beam there, nice and silenced. You saw the roots on her as well. Going to get the dots up, try to get some Wraths in. She's running out of my range, trying to get away from that Death Knight. Death Knight is extremely low. Get the Star Surge off on her. I need to stop spamming Moonfire and cast... Death Knight is about to go down, and down he goes from dots. I decide to start casting Wrath, and what do you know? Moonfire does the job for me. Do not doubt your Moonfire ticks, folks. They are powerful. So, back to the courtyard. We are attacking this time, and we blew through the gates this time. You'll see the time we have left. Excellent job from the Alliance on the attacking round. So, you're going to see that Soul Swap there, and a Spell Lock on me. Not much I can do. Trying to push out some damage on this fella here. Go ahead and throw some hots on myself as well. What a waste of an Alkin Frenzy, sadly. Alkin Frenzy is the damage increase as well as immune to interrupts that I might point out. I should also let you all know that I did this BG on vent with two friends, one being a warrior, the other being on his shaman in this case. And here comes the end of the round, and that's that. The Alliance did win, as you can see, and the damage done... Not the most amazing damage done, but to be honest, the Alliance team was quite good this time around. You'll see the honor gain is actually quite good for me personally. I believe 138 or 150, 138 is, I believe, what it says. Uh, got four killing blows, not that impressive. Five deaths, so less than one KD ratio, but that could just be my playing. KBs in perspective to the Alliance, not that high in general. 56 KBs is not a bad thing in a strand. That's actually pretty good in my opinion. Compared to the Horde, it raffle stomped them all. Uh, damage, you can see I did 400,000. A modest amount, nothing too super amazing, but keep in mind the gear I'm sitting in, which is mostly 5-man TOC. 
if you can believe that, and maybe a few pieces of T9. So considering what I'm working with, not bad. It got some decent healing done in there too. So pretty nice overall, and that's that. Enjoy the bloopers, folks. Fuck! I missed the res, and I was... I was a ghost, and I missed the res. Fucking balls, dude. Fucking horde. I was two seconds away from a res, and I have to wait 30 seconds.